Next to that critical NASA mission, seven million miles away, a spacecraft smashed into an asteroid tonight at 14,000 miles an hour. If successful, it might one day help NASA literally save humanity. Trevor Alt reports. Tonight, nearly seven million miles from Earth, a mission right out of a Hollywood movie. NASA engaging in interstellar target practice, crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid on purpose. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. That rocket launching a year ago with the refrigerator-sized spacecraft aboard, the mission known as DART, a test of, quote, planetary defense, colliding tonight with a 500-foot space rock at 14,000 miles an hour in hopes of knocking it off course. Within days here, we should know by exactly how much we've been able to change its velocity. That's the whole point of the mission. Our thanks to Trevor. And joining us now for more is ABC News contributor and former astronaut Katie Coleman. Katie, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, walk us through what happened a little while ago. I know you were certainly excited. We saw cheering and uh, high fives. Uh, clearly, it was a very technically challenging process. Well, it's been, I mean, it started like seven years ago, this project being planned really for, you know, what's our first step in trying to understand how can we protect our planet from asteroids? And this particular asteroid was no um, threat to the Earth, but it was perfect, actually, this system, and you see us getting closer and closer and closer there. It was perfect to be able to demonstrate if we try to change uh, an asteroid's momentum, can we do that? And you see it coming closer and closer and closer. And uh, and so this this uh, spacecraft targeted that small asteroid and I think you, you'll see the next frame as it just gets really close you'll just see like a little tiny that little right. top of the frame that's the last picture that the spacecraft took just a part of a picture before it uh, broke up and, and exploded and, and hit the surface there and the whole goal was to basically you know run into this asteroid and change its momentum now we know that they were successful in look you know getting there targeting and actually arriving but then uh we'll have to wait you know wait and see um have we actually managed to change its momentum and you know the big picture here is you know it's a big word but you know planetary defense defending our planet against some of the dangers of space and being able to change the momentum um will really help us and i know you said it's kind of a, a wait and see but do you have any idea of, of when we'll know if this worked in terms, well, um, they're going to get pictures of the of the impact, um, even you know soon. It could be in a few hours. It depends when all the communication satellites line up. But there, they, there's actually a little CubeSat that's separated from our spacecraft, like a, a couple days ago, and that actually flew by about three minutes later, and probably has images of the actual explosion and the crater. Not to mention all the other telescopes around the world, you know, here on Earth and out in space. And you can see there, you see sort of two asteroids there. I mean, one is sort of like there's the big asteroid, and then the little one is what we actually hit. And so it's going to change how fast it goes around the big one. And we can measure that actually really easily. I've done it for years using telescopes like the Hubble and now the James Webb. And so um, we'll be able to tell, I mean, it'll take a while to really get, you know, the definitive answer, but we'll be able to tell uh, pretty soon. And we talked about this earlier, but just kind of explain for our viewers who may not have been watching at the time what this could mean for our future. Well, I mean, we, we talk about how, you know, many millions of years ago, you know, an asteroid hit the Earth and, and wiped out the dinosaurs. I mean, this could happen. Again, there's it's basically a certain amount of, you know, mass out there, asteroids that are out there. Now, the good news is that we can see them now that we're um, really trying to look and understand where they are. And we would know if one was headed our way. And so if we can see them actually very far away, which we can, um, our goal is to understand how can we prevent something that we can see like that? How can we prevent it from hitting the earth if we need to. And global defense is a, it's a global endeavor as our administrator said today. And so uh, being able to change that path when it's really far away, you change that path by just a little bit and actually could make it miss the earth. It feels like a, quite a, a revolutionary and an exciting uh, time, uh, especially from what we saw inside the NASA space station today. Former astronaut Katie Coleman, we thank you so much for your insight and your time.
<laughs> well, thanks very much. It was so exciting. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.